Well, today we got this Pontiac G6, and I think it's like an 07. And I think they said they needed timing chains or something. Somebody told me they needed timing chains. I'm going to see what the report here says. Let's see if we can type our odometer in three times. One, five, five, eight, one, four. That's what I said. Yeah. Exhaust camshaft intake correlation. Hmm. That's not good. Yeah. We got a correlation code. Then I'm gonna say that we need timing chains. Eight one four. I think we're gonna have to go inside and we're gonna get uh, the information from what the customer said. Because uh, I forgot what it was. Just to make sure that they didn't do anything on this. And I guess we'll pop the hood real quick and do a visual. Let me save this report. Guys, so it looks like somebody was actually in here. They do phasers. Oh, I broke the oil fill cap. I didn't realize I was held into that. Crap. I didn't even yank up on it that hard. Well, I guess we'll have to get a new one. Let's see if I can get a new one before we start this up. So I was doing a quick look at this Pontiac, and I noticed that they said the cam sensors were replaced. This one definitely wasn't replaced. I came back here and I took a look, because I wanted to do a cam crank solution. Um, this one back here does not look like it was replaced. It does look like they had the valve cover off. As you can see RTV like smeared everywhere. But then I was wondering if these are crisscrossed because it looks like they're crisscrossed. Now they're not interchangeable, I don't think. So we'd have to get these off. But I want to look at the wire color, see which one's which, and see if they're crisscrossed. This one's gray, this one's tan. Or, I'm sorry, this one's gray, this one's black. So I want to see if these might be crisscrossed because the way it looks, it looks like they might be crisscrossed. I don't know if this harness is supposed to be on this side. Or what but maybe they're supposed to be crisscrossed no idea okay guys I got the diagram printed out so look at this purple is intake okay purple this is definitely purple and this is on the exhaust side because there's our exhaust intakes this side and if we look green is exhaust so we got green and tan right there so these are switched and like I said I don't think I need to get a pick. I don't think these can be mixed up. Let me get a pick. Okay, let's see if we can get these out. Oh, I guess I, I need a different type of pick. Actually, can we go in this one? Oh, that'll probably work. There we go. Let's get this one out. Yeah, so these aren't interchangeable. You can't plug them into each one. So I'm going to get a socket while we replace or we'll switch them around. Guys, we got the uh, sensors in. I cleaned it. Oh, I sprayed it down with brake clean. Um, Trying to get the oil out of here. So there's like all this oil down here because the brake clean didn't evaporate now that it has oil in it. I tried like flushing it all down to this side. Eh, good enough. It's a lot better. So we got that. So I guess we'll start this up. We'll see what happens here. Is that one coil crooked? Oh no, they're all on a slight angle. Let's start this up. That should run different. Probably run a lot better now. So I'm waiting for another adapter to come.
feel like I hear like a hissing. This intake is not tight either. Like this whole thing can be pulled off. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining it. So I'm going to do a fault scan and I'm going to bring up some data feds and we'll just let the car sit here and run. And hopefully this is it. What was our codes? Let's see if I can... I don't think I mixed them up. Hopefully I didn't put them in the mixed up. Let's see. These might have just been old codes. Just make sure I didn't mix them up now, because that'd be interesting. Nope, purple is intake. There we go. I think we should be good now. Designing clear codes. Let's go in the ACU. You can still have other problems. It's just one of them. Okay. So that looks good. So what we're going to look at, we're just going to look at our uh, fuel trims map. Let's see. Engine. SRF calculated engine load, coolant temp, engine speed, IET. Where we have map? I don't think we have map. Short term, long term. Look at that, they're good. Uh, the only other thing that I'd want to check then is our. Uh, do you have desired actual cam timing? No, I don't think it's in here. Right now, we look good. I really don't want to drive this car, guys. This whole wheel. Look. We can move the whole wheel in and out, so we're not going to be test driving this. And the exhaust is broken under the car. Both wheels are actually really bad. You can actually move the wheels forward and backwards. The whole bushings are gone. I think they put the wrong control arm, actually, on the driver's side. But I think that was their problem. I'm going to let this warm up. Okay guys, so it's been running here for a while. It seems to be working pretty good. Okay, I didn't see anything for the throttle um, bids, but uh, I guess I'll show you guys what's, what's going on with this car too when uh, I lift it up. But I want to see if we can get these to change. Intake zero, no variance. that Let's try putting this in gear there we go now we got intake and exhaust moving look at that I'd say guys I think we fixed it we don't really want to see too much variance let's go back let's go to trouble codes Okay, there we go. No trouble codes. Now look at this car, guys. It's not even attached. The pipe is not attached. So completely off. Where do you guys see this? Just wiggle the wheel. Oh, I thought you meant the steering wheel. Sorry, but see, it's a shiny control arm. Look at this. The, the nuts loose. Go forward and backwards with it. Look at how much that moves, front and back. 
You know what? I think this front bolt's loose too. Go ahead, do it. I think this front bolt's loose too. You can see it's not even the right size. Okay. Good. Go forward. Even when you're going backwards, the whole wheel shakes. The other side isn't any better. Hit the brakes. Yeah, this side does it too. It's not near as bad, but. <laughs> yeah, this side does it too. <laughs> well, I hope you guys like that. See you later.